A yellow helium-filled blimp was launched this morning near the site of the proposed Betterways 27-storey waterfront hotel. Melbourne-based artist Shane McGrath says during the public submissions process for the hotel, there were calls for an on-site tethered balloon to show how tall it would be, so he thought he would do a research project about it. Um, the, the public were asking for a um, literal indicator for the height of the proposed hotel and uh, a balloon was something that was put forward and I use balloons and zeppelins in my work all the time so I uh, proposed that I came down here and, and uh, put the balloon up. McGrath says the design submission is 96 metres or 28 storeys high so he's marked out the full height on the tether and despite a bit of slack has endeavoured to try and make it as vertical as possible. He says the work is not a protest, but rather a catalyst to encourage debate around the subject of the hotel, because his impression is that public opinion is polarised around the issue. Some people uh, love the idea of a hotel. Dunedin needs a five-star hotel down here in the waterfront. It's a great, it's a great um, development idea. Others um, say, yes, we need a hotel, but um, not in this shape and form, not in this location, and not uh, with this design. And others um, aren't interested whatsoever. The hotel's architect, Francis Whitaker, says he first noticed the balloon on his way to work this morning. Well, I thought my, my reaction to it was that it didn't seem as high as I thought it might be. So uh, I think it should go up more often, perhaps tomorrow morning if it's very calm, and people should uh, look out for it. He says while the proposed structure is not a reality at this point, many people are reacting to the idea of it on an emotive level. Any information which is added to the debate which shows the actual reality is going to be good for the debate. So it's a great idea that someone independently has decided to do this thing. Meanwhile, a decision on whether or not the hotel will go ahead is expected in June. Debbie Narona, Nine Local News.